All right, now we back up in this thing, fool. What's happening, man? Hey, man, I'm glad to have you back, man. I'm glad to be back. I God damn it. Hey, people, listen time. up. Let me just get it straight off the rip, man. This is, did you miss me? I'm D Lay. It's my man, Damn Fool, sitting in for Billy Sorrells, who is currently on tour with Snoop Dogg and Tamar Brats, and our boy doing his thing. All right. I y'all know. show y'all goddamn love exactly. to Billy. He doing his goddamn thing. I he see him today on IG getting higher than a motherfucker with Snoop. <laughs> That's got to be crazy having Snoop as a boss. Man. It's a job you requirement go, how you get, get high? What you going to do wrong? What's Snoop going to tell you not to do? <laughs> Don't Snoop going to tell you everything, man, everything. You, I, hold on, wait a minute. Stop. Stop, everybody. <laughs> Stop, fool. This is so disrespectful of me. Samo. Mm-hmm. Ernest. Yo. Man, we can't do shit without them, man. Not at all. Not a goddamn Ain't thing. shit we can do with it. If they don't want to put our episode out, they can say they fuck everybody. <laughs> These two guys can say fuck everybody. They shut the whole operation down. Can't nobody do shit what but watch reruns. Do? Ain't that fucked up? All you can do is watch reruns and did you miss me? These niggas would be mad at Ernest and Sop. Them niggas would be the most hated niggas right. They'll go in the digital most media. Niggas to the most hated. To most loved. But they be niggas fucking with Ernest and Sop on now, and we can't do a god. Hey, man, y'all getting some love from this? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. For sure. Yeah. Boys getting love for me. I can believe it. I get a little DM, I can believe it. That DM pop a little bit? <laughs> hey man, we trying to throw that bitch off the glass. Yeah. Hey, we trying to Tracy McGrady that motherfucker, man. We, tra- we T Mac in that thing, bro. Shout out to T Mac. Man, we definitely doing that thing. Hey man, listen, bro. Let me let me just tell you why I met with it in life. What's going on, <sighs> fool? You don't know this about me. Okay. This is new. This is some good shit. If I don't know it, then this is gonna be good. Fool, I don't like to drive. Mm. I really don't like. To, I don't like it. I hate it. I got a, I got into a car accident when I was younger, so. I just kind of don't like to fuck with it. <clears throat> Especially being in LA, traffic is fucked up. Parking is even more fucked up. Fuck it, I Uber everywhere. I love Uber. I don't fuck with Lyft too much. I owe Lyft. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I owe That's Lyft. Yeah, work. Let you me tell you something. You owe one, you switch to the other. You gotta switch, you switch to the other. You motherfuckers ain't cousins. Yeah, yeah, don't y'all start, call, don't y'all start calling I, each other either. I, 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 I run, run, run my big brother Uber. Uber, they messing with me. <laughs> Lyft, I think I owe Lyft like 250. Okay. Think oh how did I how did I owe them two? F- anyway, I owe them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they gonna be old. They definitely gonna be old. <laughs> they gonna I'm be old. Even, here's the thing: I ain't even thinking about paying them niggas. It's not even a thought. Like you ever just like you know you're not paying a debt. That's one of them. <laughs> so today called an Uber. It's an interesting day for me. Called an Uber. So I need to go to the grocery store get some things taken care of. Uber come through. Uber real convenient. First mm-hmm. cat come through. Bing. Cat named Quam. Kwam. Hmm. Kwam is his name. Little Asian guy. Older guy. Get down. Roll. How you doing, Mr. Kwam? Mr. Kwam won't say shit. I'm like, okay, that's how I fuck around anyway. I like that anyway. Don't say shit to me. I ain't gonna say shit to you. <laughs> that's how I roll. You ain't gotta say shit to me. We're going right up the street. I'm not far. I'm just going to the grocery store. It's right up the street. It's a few blocks up. Kwam, you ain't gotta say shit to me. Just not a goddamn thing. Fuck. Hey, bro, then you ain't obligated to say shit to me. As a matter of fact, I fuck with you even more, Kwam. Yeah. I call you my mind your goddamn business. Mr. Kwam, you mind your fucking business. Get out there. I get to the grocery store, take care of what I need to take care of. Got to get an Uber back. Right down the street. Bing, mm-hmm. as luck would have it. Who is coming back up? Goddamn Kwam. Same Kwam. Same Kwam. I figured that because they're in the same area. They just kind of work, some of them just work in the same area. So, bam, I'm hitting it. I'm, right, I'm going right back to the same spot. So, bam, get back in. Mr. Kwam. This time I say, I ain't going to fuck with him. I ain't going to say shit to him. <laughs> Put my headphones on. When I got my headphones on, I really don't want to talk to you. Exactly. If I got the earbuds in, that means leave me alone. If I got the cover of the whole cover, that's the don't fuck with me. The whole cover with the noise cancellation, that's the do not fuck <laughs> do with me. That with means me. I do not want to be disturbed. At leave me the fuck alone. I'm, I'm in my own world is what they're saying. I get in there, Mr. Kwame in his own world. I'm in my own world. Ain't nobody tripping. Get to the spot. Get out. Mr. Kwame don't say shit. Don't say bye. Don't say nothing. I still get the niggas five stars. I ain't tripping. He did what he's supposed to do. He got me that safety. Got your damn back. Ain't nobody fucking tripping. Cool. I'm sitting around, I filmed some stuff today. Some stuff with this young vi- videographer named Issa. Uh, he loves the podcast. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he says, man, I want to turn some of them stories that you do, man, I want to turn them into some like some movie-like shit. Okay. I was like, man, fuck it, let's do it. Amazing. So I was shooting with him today. Okay. And I said, I got to get it back, because I need to get back over here for 8 o'clock. All right, cool. <laughs> Have a great day of shooting. Met some cool people. Great shoot. Knocked out three episodes of that. So I said, fuck it, I'm time to give me an Uber to come back 
to the studio. But this time, I'm cutting costs. I'm gonna play, play a dangerous game when the Uber, you come to Uber. I'm about to play a dangerous game. Mm -hmm. I'm about to fuck around with that Uber pool. Oh, there it is. Let me tell you something about there that Uber is. pool. Oh. You don't know what you're gonna <laughs> get with that Uber pool. You, about to pool. you knew what you, you knew you said it was gonna be <laughs> other motherfuckers in there with your seat, <laughs> but we ain't gonna tell you what kind of motherfuckers. What type of motherfuckers we dealing with. No. We don't even know. Mm -mm. I hesitated by hitting that goddamn Uber pool. But that price, nigga, five dollars to go across the city with four motherfuckers that you probably don't know. You can go two hours away for five dollars. At least two hours away. Fuck it, I'm gonna take it. Five dollars and sixty-four cent. Fool, I gotta have it. <laughs> not fast, not fast. Fool, I gotta have that. That's fine. Hey, dog, I came from downtown to South Central. Five sixty-four. Okay, let's go. Stipulation: mm -hmm. four niggas you might not know or like. Man, I'm not tripping on none of that. Bam, I'm running a little late. I look at it, it's an older black gentleman. Roger, older black, Mr. Roger. I ain't tripping, Mr. Roger. I'm coming down now. Now here's the thing, I did the express pool. Okay. That's you even got, cheaper. You gotta walk a block. That means you can right. walk a block, but I know, I, know, I know it ain't gonna be too far. It ain't gonna be too far. I ain't tripping, but I'm running a little late and I see my man has arrived already. Mm -hmm. Mr. Roger there. And it's already got people in there. So I'm trying to get downstairs to get there. So I'm down there and I'm like, fuck, let me just go and call him right now to let him know I'm in route. Called him, right? Mr. Rogers answers the phone. He puts it on speakerphone. But he been waiting for a little bit. Cause I've been up there. He been waiting. He, Mr. Rogers should have left my ass. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. I had a couple though. He says, hello. <coughs> hello. I said, how you doing, Mr. Rogers? Uh, this is D. I'm about to come down. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find your car right now. It's people in the car. I hear somebody go, <sighs> I'm like, okay, who is this impatient ass person hoofing in the car. when I'm telling him I'm trying to get to the car, right? So like a couple of minutes pass by, Mr. Rogers called me. So I'm like, fuck, I don't want to answer this. And then I'm saying, I still can't find this nigga. Fuck it. Hey, Mr. Rogers, I'm, I'm right on the corner. He said, I'm in a Sonata, young man. I'm in a gray Sonata. You don't see a gray Sonata? I said, I, I don't. I really don't see you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. I hear a voice say, leave that nigga. <laughs> this is one of, the, one of the passengers in there. Leave that nigga. I'm like, okay, let me find this goddamn car. I want to see who's in this, on the inside. I, I want to see who this is. I spot the snotter, get in the car. Now, the dude is in the back seat. I get in the back seat too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in the front seat. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're friends. You are my driver. <laughs> I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> sitting in the back. I see the dude, he got his face turned to the window. He don't want to look. Nigga, it got to be you. <laughs> it got to be you. Ain't nobody else in here. Ain't nobody else in here. But Mr. Rogers, we ain't tripping. <laughs> Ride along the way, I'm on the way. Ain't nobody saying shit. He smelling like weed. Mr. Rogers is uncomfortable. I know he don't like this shit. Bing, about to pick up another driver. I'm like, fuck, man. It's gonna make this shit longer. Cause sometimes you can skip, you know, you, you yeah. miss people and you just, they just take you straight to your shit. Yeah. Bam, fuck man. Sometimes pull nobody over. time me at all. Yeah, yeah. So they pull over, we getting off on Manchester. Pull over, I said, man, fuck, hurry up. It's always right when you about to get out, they pick up another motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Get in, I'm not even looking at the motherfucker. I just need to get to my destination. I'm on the gram. Mr. Rogers, I hear him say, hello there, sir. I hear him say, hello. I look up. It's Quan. Goddamn Quan. Quan. I said, Quan, the Uber driver that's been driving me around all goddamn day. I said, Quan. Is that you? He said, I tired of driving. <laughs> <laughs> I drive all day. <laughs> I see you. I won't see you no more. <coughs> you no more. You go no more. And Quan looked me dead in my eye and said, did you miss me? God damn it, Quan. We took your ass around the world and dropped your ass off, man. Hey, man, again, this is Did You yeah, Miss Me? Man. A storytelling podcast with me and Billy Sorrells. But today, sitting in for Billy Sorrells is our man, Damn Fool, Kevin Damn Fool System. Yes, sir. Sent him from Chicago, Illinois, representing all of the networks on TV. He's done everything on TV from NBC to ABC to BET, Bad Boys, the Comedy, Comic View. Uh, you name it, that brother has done it, and he man. is sitting in with us today. It's funny, this looks like a comedy show when they bring you up and they say your credits. It is. It, it changes is. the expectations. Now it's pressure. It, <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't say I didn't never do this shit, they would be like, who's like, oh, let's see what he got. But you know what? But, but now that you did all that, they like, this nigga better be funny. They trust us, though. They <laughs> trust pressure. us. Our audience trusts us. 
They trust oh, us. You gotta have trust with people. Yeah. It's hard to have trust with people. Let me tell you what I did. I broke trust. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what I did, fool. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I... <laughs> Fool, let me tell you what I did. What happened? Now, you know I'm a gambler. I, I know this. Been gambling a long time. This I know. Now, when I went to school, for college, mm -hmm. I was 17, but I'd already been gambling. When you went to school for college, don't be confused. Not college. for high school, <laughs> not for elementary, mm -hmm. for college. College. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't get it confused. So, my whole mission was, I was in Shreveport, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get on them riverboats. Yeah. I wanted to gamble. You gotta be 21. I'm 17, fool. How am I gonna get on that? Make it happen. You make it happen. You make it happen. That's Let me tell you mean. how I got on the first time. I went in and I saw how they was operating. They have a security guard standing right next to a podium. Mm -hmm. They have a turnstile going back, one out, and exit in the entrance. Now what happens is, sometimes it'll be a flood of people going through they don't even card you. They can't card all those people. Exactly. So some of those people get through. Young d -Lay realized that. I scouted out. I did reconnaissance. <laughs> did reconnaissance on the, on the... I'm going to tell you the name of the casino. Um, shit! It's in Shreve... Excuse me. It was in Bossier. It was in Bossier City. Okay. Ah! Horseshoe! God damn it! I knew that motherfucker was going to come to me. Horseshoe in oh. Bossier. They got the little term style, right? Mm -hmm. So I noticed, I said, I can get through that. I can get through that undetected. I know I can get through that. Told my homeboy he was with me that time. Key man. Key man. Key man is a professor you, you now. You getting in anywhere with a nigga named Key man. Key man. He's a <laughs> Key man. He's a professor what now. What door can he open? Anything. He damn sure. <laughs> and he, he try. He'll try to open it. <laughs> he better. He, this <laughs> nigga, right? He got a charter school. Like Shout out to Key man, up. man. Start his, uh, his own charter school. Some charter schools. Uh, shout out to my brother for doing that. Um, but he was down with me. He was like, fuck it, man, let's go. I think we can do it. We slipped through there. I was like, oh my gosh. First thing I went to was craps. Okay. Now, at this time, I'm not really playing blackjack like this. I'm not mm -hmm. fucking with blackjack really at all. I don't even know how to yeah, play blackjack. That's your game. Keep in mind, I'm Later 17. Right. I'm not even supposed to be on these people's boat. I'm 17 at the Horseshoe in Bossier City. I ain't supposed to be in there. Not at all. I get on the dice and pull a damn fool. One, off the rip. If you check the episode, go check the episode. Yeah. The, the damn fool on when he talked about him and I gambling in Vegas. So I hit. I still got some of that money. I remember what I was playing. I played nothing but the field. I played nothing but the field. The field is um, four, five, nine, 11, 10, 12. 11, six, and eight. Yeah. If y'all, if, if some of the real casino people count, they, they checking it. Trust me, they are fucking checking to make sure that I'm right who's yeah. in the field. Oh, uh, 12, the field ace. Is, I thought the field was all odds. Mm -mm. The field is, if, if any of these numbers hit. Okay. If the ace, deuce, tray, four, five, yeah, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm playing nothing but the field. Okay. And fucking everything that rolls, bam, four, bam, 10, bam. And I was starting off betting like five bucks. I only mm -hmm. had like a hundred bucks. Yeah. I saw a bit, man, I won 500 bucks. Fast. Yeah. Fucking fast. My partner was like, let's get out of here. I was like, yeah, let's get the fuck up out of here. But I was like, I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm coming back. <laughs> I got to come back. So There's no way I cannot come back. I gotta come back. Keep in mind, I've been gambling way before this. I've been gambling since I was eight. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm, I'm, now I'm just, I'm just moving up to the big league. It's a coach. <laughs> I get back, I tell my partner, I said, we're going back tomorrow. We ain't wasting no time. We're going right back tomorrow. Go back, same scheme. Watch the motherfuckers go through, slide through there. Bam. I go through that bitch, slide through there. My partner get caught. I'm like, fuck. They realized we was together, seen us on camera. Exactly. Come back, snatch my ass. Now so you, you have any ID on you? Ain't got no fucking ID. I'm 17. Get the fuck out of there. They get me out of there. I'm going to leave. But I'm going back. I'm coming back. I got to go back. But I gotta figure out how. How? Exactly. Now here's the deal. I played basketball at the time. There's a senior on the team that I get cool with named Stacy Rogers. Shout out to my dog Stacy Rogers in Arlington, Texas. Stacy Rogers is a senior. Stacy like 21, maybe 22. What do you mean? You see, 21, 22. 
He got a license. I said, Stacy, hey man, I like to gamble. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is first, these are my teammates. The first thing I tell them about me is I like to gamble. I ain't telling them, hey, listen, I like to make sure that, you know, the assist game is good. I want to make sure that I'm facilitating the, the ball club. I want to make sure that the I'm doing what I need. Ain't with no, no play. I'm coming in for the team, you know, to, 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 to thrive and to win. I say, hey, man, the first thing you need to know about me is I like to gamble. Love it. <laughs> not I'm good off the screen of the road. I love the gamble. I ain't None got shit to do with it. I ain't asking no plays. We're not talking about no running, running zone or playing man to man. What do you think we should do? No. Hey, bro, I like to gamble. Hear that. You do whatever what you want to do with it, but you need to. I like to gamble. He said, "Okay, shit, I play a little bit too." I said, "No, no, I like to gamble. <laughs> you play a little bit. Nigga. I like to gamble." You play a little bit. That's different. I said, "I need to get your license, man, and just go get a new one. And just put my face on." So I, my thing is, that's an easy fix. It's a black guy, but black guy, we look similar. Just take the goddamn ID down to the DMV to have all this information on me know all his information, say I lost this, bam, from that point, they're gonna do what they need to do, give me a replacement card, Stacey Rogers, with delay face. Makes I'm, sense to you, man. I'm balling, makes sense to me. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Makes perfect sense. What could possibly go wrong <laughs> with that? It's foolproof. That's a foolproof plan. It's, it's fucking foolproof. It's foolproof. What could possibly plan. go wrong? What the <laughs> fuck go wrong with defrauding <laughs> the U.S. government? <laughs> Nothing. Not White at all. people do it all the time. Not in Young Delay, man. <laughs> I got this fixed. Bruh, we get there. I get there. He gave me all the information. I studied it the whole night. <laughs> I knew his birthday because his birthday was the day before mine. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, November 16th, right, September, right, right, Social Security number. No, I remember the Social Security number. I got an eye color brown, right? I'm running through all that shit. I got it. I'm nailed it. Nigga, I'm Stacey Rogers now. You're Stacey Rogers? Nigga, I, this is a face off. Exactly. I'm Stacey Rogers now. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is D Lane? Nigga, say it's a face off. I am Stacey fucking Rogers. Going to that DMV with all the confidence because I got my homework. I did, this, I did all the homework. Be ready. Walk up front. Bam, take a number, I'm sitting, I'm waiting, doing my thing. I ain't nobody tripping. I get this ID, because as soon as I get this ID, I'm going straight to the casino. <laughs> Nobody's there. Don't worry about shit. I'm getting straight to this casino. Get in there, call my number. What you need? I need a replacement ID. Have you filled out the information? Yes, Stacy has. <laughs> you got damn right, Stacy done filled it out. <laughs> Stacy done filled out everything you need to know about You're talking Stacey. to the third person. I'm in third person with All right. You, re you ready person. for real. I'm so, I'm so, Stacy, I'm so, Stacy, I'm third person. So I said, uh, yeah, I didn't get this. She gets it, puts up the information. Now, this is what I didn't know, young dumbass delay. What they have is the driver license that Stacy Rogers last took in the system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not tripping on that. We dark skin, same, about the same skin complexion. I ain't worried about that. Here's the kicker Stacy Rogers is 6'5. <laughs> Delay is 5'10, maybe 5'11 on a good day. I didn't even think none of it. She says, uh, Stacy, you shrunk on me. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, that, that's happening. That's happening. She said, what's that about? I said, uh, you know, I don't know if they messed something up last time or if I actually got shorter. I don't, I don't really know. She said, that's weird. Hold still. Take the picture, right? I said, put the same height on it. <laughs> put that same goddamn height on it. <laughs> what Stacey is, 6'5". Man, they print that fucking ID out, man. A state license. Louisiana state-issued driver's license. For Stacey Rogers with this fucking face on it, bro. This nigga, guy. first place I go back, I go back to Stacy. I said, nigga, I did it. He said, how? I don't know, nigga, I got it. Here you go. Here you go. He said, man, what you about to do? Said, nigga, what, what, you, what, you, what you think I'm about to do? We got practice. I know, no but what you think I'm about to do? <laughs> nigga, I'm in the casino 17 before <laughs> practice. <laughs> practice at five. I just skipped school <laughs> to go get my ass handed to me. <laughs> On this fucking blackjack table, I lost again. And that was the beginning of my goddamn spree, my gambling spree right there. Oh, hey, man, listen, again, this is Did You Miss Me? I'm D-Lay. And I'm damn fool. Hey, man, we'll be right back. We're going to pay some bills. 
What's up, everybody? I'm D-Lay. And I'm Billy Surreals. This is the number one storytelling podcast in the world, people. We're here for you guys, and we're doing mm -hmm. something special. Patreon.com is a site that you guys need to check out. We're doing special things, exclusive things for you guys, mm -hmm. like uh, early access to some of the episodes. Yeah, man, most definitely. Bonus content that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Yes, discounted uh, 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 merchandise. Oh, yeah, we're giving away a lot of shit. People, you gotta, but this is for, for so our serious followers, our people that are really down with the Did You Miss Me podcast. We're doing these things for you guys. And if you're not familiar with Patreon, go in and we'll give you guys all the luxuries that Did You Miss Me Podcast And you know, what, you know how we know if they're real fans? How do we know? They know this number right here. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. Hey, man, we back in this thing. Damn fool. Kevin Damn Fool Simpson. Right here, people. Sitting in for Billy Sorrells. Currently on tour with Tamar Braxton. And Snoop Dogg, man. Redemption of a dog. God damn it. That's a hell of a title, ain't it? You out there. <laughs> He out there with <coughs> Man. <coughs> now, you know, you know, it's funny. Let it out. Let that shit out. You got to let that shit out, bro. You can't hold that shit in. You got, you got to you got to have a little air to it. Niggas be trying to talk through it. Watch this. So niggas be trying to talk through the cough. That, it ain't done. He's not done with that. There's more to come. You'll see. Watch. That's more some cough. Guaranteed some more cough in that. You got to add a little air to it. <laughs> see, when you add a little air to it, it, it puts it right on out. Oh, okay. It's like the hiccups. You can talk them out. You can talk it away, too. Oh, well, you add a little air to it. I didn't, know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Same thing with the hiccups. Yeah, just add a little air. Okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's crazy. I told you we were going to cough. I told you we were going to cough. I told you it was another goddamn cough. That was man. more of a laugh than a cough. <laughs> that was a laugh, nigga. It was a laugh cough. <laughs> oh, man. You know what's funny? Y'all got me out here for real, man. Like, yeah. I've been doing comedy 13 years. Mm. Coming up. Been on TV for those 13 years. Mm -hmm. I've never been photographed, filmed, or anything near any alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, anything of that nature. <laughs> I come on this podcast one goddamn day, and now everybody know I'm a junkie. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody. I don't like you niggas no more. <laughs> These niggas are bad influences. Yeah, man, we out here, man. Not that they influenced me to do this shit, because I was already doing this shit. I just hid it from you, motherfucker. <laughs> forever, until I get around this shit. from y'all forever. <laughs> For one day. It's crazy. That Uber shit is, is amazing. Yes, I'm, man. Boy, when I tell you, like, okay, so the pool, mm -hmm. that's always. The Uber pool. That's risky. always a risk. That's now, risky. when you went there, I wanted to cut in, but I'm like, let me let, me, let my man finish. Because, mm -hmm. nigga, I had the worst pool experience ever. Mm -hmm. I'm with my mama, right? Now, my mama needs to go downtown to get some information. Her baby don't drive. She know that. I got too many DUIs. Man, that and other sounds sketchy as shit. His mama <laughs> need to go downtown to get some information and just left it at that. It was dope. Don't worry about what the fuck my mama did. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling what my mama going to do. Don't worry get. about what the fuck my mama do. <laughs> that ain't even what the story about. That ain't what the my story mama went downtown about. to get some the information. Story about the Uber driver. Nick. Back to this Uber. My mama shit. got some information. She got to go get. She say, "Baby, I need to get downtown. Um, do you know anything about that Uber thing?" I say, yeah. She said, well, can you, can you give me the number so I can call him? I said, look, man, it don't work like that. <laughs> I said, you got to add an app on your phone. <laughs> that was where you were. Give me the number so I can call him. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey. <coughs> Nigga, give me. The number so I could call Uber. Now, what city are you in? Where you at? I'm in Chicago. Okay. Chicago. I'm in Chicago. We chill, you know. So I say, okay, look. I say, mom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an Uber bring you to me, and then we are gonna get in there together and go downtown, right? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what my mom was doing. I had fucked up. I had lost my ID. Needed to go <coughs> get a goddamn birth certificate. <coughs> because you can't get an ID without a birth certificate. Because you can't get a birth certificate without an ID. So it's like. Bitch, I'm supposed to just walk around with nothing. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to take my mama down here to pick up my ID. Cause her, I mean, her, my birth certificate, her name on it. And she got her ID. So right. I'm good. So it's me that she need to go down there for. So I call, I, I bring her to me. We get in the Uber. I'm being cheap. I'm going to save this little couple of dollars. Right. I'm going to get in this pool. You remember how much it was? Call the pool. No. Under, I under 10? I know I know the, the and this was fucked up because it was kind of cheap to go X. Anyway, right. It was like 13 something. But okay. I was like, fuck that. Nah, you can get under that. So you want to get under 10. This 411 go work you, out. Boy, way. listen. 
You get four it. Four pl plus, I add the second hey, rider. Bro, it's only five nineteen now. It's like playing the prices right. Come on, man. You like go. you know what? Uh uh. I'm doing this. Start it over. Cancel that. Let's go again. <laughs> Let's try one more. Let's try it again. I'm trying to get down because it might go down within like, two if seconds. Get, if you go straight, four thirty four. If I get down to forty three, what? Then I because I'm a gambler. I'm a gambler. I'll be All gambling with Oop. You know what? Hold on. You raised that. I can get under the phone. I know I can get under the phone. I'm going to wait five more minutes. I may be late, but I'm going to wait five more minutes. And I'm going to, hold on, wait one sec. Nigga, I get it under three dollars. Let me tell you, on everything. On everything, bruh. Last week, bruh, I caught a 49 cent Uber on everything I love. 49. I was like, I'm the champion. You won. I'm the fucking winner. Can't nobody fuck with me. I got that. You I got goddamn that goddamn one. trophy. So you in there with so, 13 and under. Fuck it. I'm going to put my mama in this pool. We going together, so she could. I get in, we, we call the pool, pool get there. Cop pull up, it's a passenger already in there. Her and the driver are in a full on argument. <laughs> it's going to fuck down, okay? No, actually the driver's a woman, the driver's a woman, it's a man in the back seat. First thing I hear when I open the door is, bitch, I told you if you ain't make that right, we wouldn't even have to come pick these motherfuckers up. <laughs> <laughs> is he talking about us? <laughs> he, he, he talking about us. It's, he talking about us. It's five dollars. It's five something though. Hey, you gotta eat that. I gotta go. You I'm gotta gonna eat, eat that. that. I right. open the door. Now, my mama gets in the back. The guy back there is a pretty heavy set guy. My mama ain't no small motherfucker either. You know what I'm saying? So, ain't no room for Kevin in the back. All right. You know what I'm saying? I go to the front. I go to open the door. It ain't unlocked. I look down into the window. I reached to unlock it and open it. It still ain't unlocked. I tap on the motherfucker like, bitch, can I go? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Come in. I paid for two rides, two seats, you know what I'm saying? So she opened the door. I go to reach to move the shit out the seat. She said, ah, don't touch my stuff. Okay, all right. She get her shit, get out, walk it to the trunk, put it in the trunk. I finally get in, we riding. Old ride there, he, bitch, take the left. Take the motherfucker. See, you don't fucking listen. You ain't listen to me first. Now that's why these niggas in the car. Again, I'm like, you talking, you're about, talking about these niggas. <laughs> it's, like y'all ain't in the car. <sighs> My mama back there with him. But I'm like, you know, she ain't no little motherfucker. She ain't, she ain't got nothing to worry about. Really? You know what I'm saying? So we get to ride. We riding. Finally, we get down there. We get him out the car. He look, she look, he get out the car. The lady look back at my mama and say, he must have been smoking crack or something. Didn't you smell something weird? She was like, uh, no, bitch. <laughs> it ain't crack. <laughs> and that was just it. Like, that's how, that's how the whole ride ended. I was like, I was Man. like, mama, you just gonna say that to the woman? She's like, no, bitch. <laughs> like, it ain't crack. Hey. And, and, and opened the door, like, let me out of here. Like, my mama was done. It's a gamble. They argued the whole ride there, okay? Next day. This is not. This is no lie. Everybody think I'm lying. I'm on. I'm on Facebook posting these motherfuckers day to day. Everybody like fool. You gotta be lying. This shit can't keep happening to you. I get in the Uber. Pool. I get in the Uber here in L.A. I'm riding. I get in the car. Nigga playing the horriblest rap music I ever heard in my life. Horriblest. Okay. We riding. You know what I'm saying? It's you know we going. This nigga <laughs> that he driving right, which means we riding. I'm in the back seat. This nigga is talking to me like this. You know that's me on the CD, right? <laughs> now, in my mind, I'm thinking, fuck yeah, I know it's you, because I don't know none of this shit, and it's horrible, so of course I know it's you. This nigga like, whole CD, that's all me, you know what I'm saying? That's all me, this is my new mixtape, you know what I'm saying? I'm your boy, Boo from the Loo, you know what I'm saying? It's on his hat, it's, it's on his goddamn loop. hat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm your boy, Boo from the Loo, you know what I'm saying? We ride, he going. I was like, nigga, are you serious? I said, bro, you wanna turn around and look at the Oh no, brother, I know these LA streets, I've been out here, Beyonce playing my shit, Jay-Z playing my shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga Drum playing my, he playing, he naming all the people he dropping. He done came back, he name dropping like a motherfucker. I'm like, okay, Boo, how old are you? Boo is 54. <laughs> and he's playing me his mixtape. Not a tape full of songs that he's mixed, but his mixtape, his rap mixtape, and he's 54. 54. I said, Boo, Boo from the loo. let me the fuck out, look, Boo. <laughs> and take your ass back to the loo, because this is not where you need to be. LA is not the place for you with this horrible shit that you play. Everybody got a dream, baby. Last one. Everybody got a dream. Because I ain't going to stay on this too long. Last one. I got them. Call an Uber. Come out my house. I got a couple things in the bag. 
little roll, little roller bag, carry on. <laughs> Uber pull up, pick me up from a condo. We drive. She come out, make a l right out the parking lot of my condo. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, I I believe you're going the wrong way. <coughs> She's like, oh, I'm sure the airport is this way. <coughs> I said, With all the confidence. I said, I'm sure I'm not going to the airport. <laughs> Well, you have a bag. I saw the bag. I assumed you were going to the airport. Where are you going? If not the airport, and you got a suitcase. I said, wherever the fuck I want to go. First of all. my suitcase? <laughs> first of all. Second of all, I might have dope in there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, you know, it's just a risk you're taking right now. But <laughs> it's none of your business where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, I'm going to tell you. you know what I'm, I'm going to spend a night at a young lady's house, so I'm taking few things with me, so I have my shit with me when I get to her house, because I don't like her using other people's shit, so I want my shit with me, so I'm taking it with me. Is that okay with you? Oh, all right, so you're not going to the airport. She looks at the address. Oh, you're going to the city. Because I live in the suburbs now, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of dollars, I moved. Right. Fuck yeah, I don't there. judge me. Get your ass out you know what I'm saying? I'm out of here, okay? Because I want to park my Mercedes in front of my house and not worry about nobody that. stealing the mother. Got the right to do so, that. I moved. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to the city. Oh, I wasn't planning on going to the city. <laughs> Plans change. <laughs> you know, young lady, I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's what they do. They change at times. I said, and if you wasn't planning on going to the city, you shouldn't have took another ride. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what you did? You gambled. Damn sure what you did. And you lost. Yeah. Yeah. So we riding. She look at me. She say, um. You know, it's a long ride to the city. It's going to be at least an hour because the traffic is horrible right now. It's 5 o'clock. I said, yeah, I know. She stopped. She turned back around keep driving. She come back around again. You know, if you took the train, it would be lots <laughs> faster. She's trying to get rid of you. She's yeah. trying to get rid of you. You're trying to get me out the car. I said, yeah, yeah, if I took the train, it might get me there a little quicker than getting on the, you know, but I got the bag. I don't really want to be on the train. I don't really want to be around a bunch of people. I'd rather ride in the comfort of this car with you. But it's uncomfortable because you won't shut the fuck up and leave me alone about how I could get there another way. You keep offering me alternate routes. Mm. She turns around, keeps driving. She's not done, though, D-Lay. She's not fucking done, mm. G. I'm thinking she's done, but she's not fucking done. She calls her husband on speakerphone. Hey, Charles, it's Judy. He know it's you, bitch. He got his number saved. <laughs> Your number's saved in his fucking phone. Hey, Charles, it's Judy. Hey, Charles, <laughs> me, Judy. Really, bitch? He know it's you. Um, so, yeah, I, I got some passengers in the car, and he's going to the city, because I got my girl with me. He's going to the city, and um, I don't really, uh, really want to go all the way out there. And they just won't get out the car. I'm like, shit. Now, at this point, even if, because I had been thinking, I'm finna cancel this bitch and get in another car. All right. But at this point, I'm the pettiest nigga alive. You say that, oh, bitch, I'm right. Matter of fact, I'm finna change the address. I'm going a little further. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. You know what I'm saying? Like, we riding. Man, this bitch is on the phone telling me. Uh, yeah, they just won't get out. We ain't going all the way to the city. You know, I've got to pick up. I got to pick up the grandbaby, and I don't know. No one's gonna be there when he gets home from school. I said, "Do we got a key?" She was like, "Excuse me." I said, "Do you have a key?" Just <laughs> right these people business. He, he, yes, he has a key. <laughs> oh well, he good. Let's go. She said, <laughs> "We in traffic. It's tight to the motherfucker." So her husband asked, he say, "Are they in the car now?" <laughs> Yes, sir. I said, yeah, Charles, I'm right back here in the back. <laughs> yeah, Charles. Charles says, oh, babe, why would you call me on speaker while they're in the car? She's like, well, I just wanted you to know what was going on. He was like, so they, did they eat anything wrong? He was like, no. She's like, no. He was like, so you can't put them out the car, right? Because they didn't do anything wrong. You have to take the trip. He was like, why would you take the trip if you didn't want to? go to the city. She's like, I don't know, I just took a chance and, you know, pick one thinking it would be going towards the house maybe or something, and it, it just didn't work out. He was like, so you gambled? <laughs> <laughs> I yelled from the back, yes, you did, Charles, and she lost. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, good shit. God damn it, Boy. I said, Charles, I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? He <laughs> said, so you gambled. Yeah, fucking she shit. fucking gambled, and she lost. It's a fucking shame. It's crazy, man. It's fucking funny, fool.
I, be, I, I wind up in a lot of weird situations. I've been having like weird situations since I was a kid, yo. Like I stay in trouble, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it's like, I remember my mama used to always tell me when I was a kid, like your mouth gonna get you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Cause I talk a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know that it would get me in trouble in other ways. So I'm about 15, maybe 16, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just stopped fucking, I'm at home in Chicago, yeah. I meet a young lady, no, not a young lady, this is an older chick. She about 36, 37, some shit like that at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm living in a group home. What's her name? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna do yeah, that. Oh, gotta have it. Oh, I'm not gotta gonna, gonna do it. that. Gotta have it. <laughs> got to have it. Fool, we gotta have it. Uh, they will. I, uh, I promise you, everybody watching is saying it. Everybody oh, said it. They got to have it. Okay, well, fuck it. Beatrice Moore. Uh, Beatrice Moore. There you go. Beatrice, Beatrice. Beatrice. She had hey. to be 20 years older than hey. her name. Beatrice. Beatrice. Beatrice, come on, man. <laughs> say no Who the more. Fuck you know say under no. 40 named Beatrice. When last time you seen a little baby on the floor? Like, come here, Beatrice. Come here, Beatrice. Yeah, come here, little Beatrice. I'm 40 years old and Beatrice. He was 15. That means Beatrice got to be 60. <laughs> Beatrice is 63 right now. <laughs> Beatrice is 63 right now. Oh, my mama. She's old as hell. She's 63 yeah. today. Because I was 15 then. Class of 68. I'm 36 now. <laughs> this bitch was 37 then. This man so. is 16 years old fucking with a woman named Beatrice. <laughs> Just picture that, guys, at She's home. beautiful, though. Beautiful woman named Beatrice. He's 16. Beautiful. Damn. Right I'm now, like, Beatrice walking down the street, niggas like, I bet Beatrice is fine. Fine, I'm not fucking back in the <laughs> years ago, Hey, Beatrice hey, hey, you, you wait, if you, if you see her right now, you'll her. say that. You'll be like, damn, damn, I bet she was the motherfucker in 95. Beatrice. Like, you know God what I'm damn. So, and this is what time it was. It was around about 95. I'm in high school. I'm like a sophomore or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm doing my thing right now. I just got out in these streets, started making a little money. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from one of them neighborhoods where you don't join the game. They just put you in it. You know what I'm saying? All my white friends used to be like, why would you join the gang? Nah, bitch, I didn't join it. They put me in it. You turn 13, nigga run up and punch you in the head. Like, you a vice lord. Like, wait a minute, nigga, let me ask my mama. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> nigga hit you again. You like, you know what, never mind. I ain't gonna even bring her into this. You right. Where I sign up, nigga, do y'all got a uniform? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where do I pick my uniform up? So I'm out here, I'm selling my little, you know, nigga give me, come up to me, tell me, look, you gonna sell 10 of these. God damn it, you gonna make a hundred dollars, you gonna bring me back 80, you gonna keep 20. I'm like, nigga, that don't even sound like a good deal. Nigga, punch me again. You know what? Never no, man. Whatever you say, it's on you. So now I'm out here, but I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna put this little money together. I'm, making me some, I'm doing my thing. I'm out here pumping. You know what I'm saying? So I'm making a little money. I'm getting up. Niggas start giving me a little more money on the bag, on the, on the package. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So I'm doing my thing. Bitch, you see me. I'm 15, 16 years old. I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? I got a, uh, what's that, that little Sabre Grand Sport. I got the rims on it and I'm riding. Interior look like a goddamn coffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's plush velvet burgundy. You know what I'm saying? I'm 15 years old, riding like a 72, a film in 72. <laughs> I'm riding. I'm kicking it. Me and Beatrice meet, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing in the group home. She come to see another nigga, you know what I'm saying, that worked there. I meet her through her being there that day, you know what I'm saying? So we kick it, we go out a couple times. I find out she married. I go to, you know, we got, a, we got a schedule. I go to the house. On Friday, her husband leaves. He don't come back till Sunday you around 8.30. When did you first I'm fuck her? I'm, I fucked her the first time I met her. I met her. She came there to meet another nigga. I met her. She, asked, she told me she was going to come back that way later on that night and pick me up. Came back, picked me up, we went for a ride. <laughs> now, this is the first time I've done some wild shit. We fucked in the car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, first Beatrice. Time. That's her name is Beatrice. Yeah. She expect nothing. At this less point, she's. she's car yeah, exactly. She do what she want when she want. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're that old. Goddamn it. You're 37. You know what I'm saying? So, um, where did I leave it? Oh, so we, we, um, we, we fucking around. I know I come in on Friday. I can stay there all weekend. Mm -hmm. I leave Sunday. What does he do? I don't know what the fuck he do to this day. I could care the fuck less. He was not there. <laughs> he wasn't there. This bitch was 37, had a bomb ass body and everything. I'm fucking 15, 16 years old. It's like, this is the best thing that's ever this happened to me. amazing. It's the most, oh my this God. This is amazing for a 15 year old kid to have this experience. He's she know how to make her pussy do this. 
Mm. It's like it's grabbing me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's pulling me in. So I'm like, okay, this is the most amazing thing in my life. So, you schedule. You on that woman? Sometimes. Schedule. He's raw dog and Beatrice. <laughs> he has no cares. He doesn't care about nothing. He ain't got nothing. He clean. Beatrice. I'm straight. He I'm 15. I ain't had a chance to get nothing. Him? No, I don't fuck all that. Okay. I know better than that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm young, but I got a lot of pimp in me. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been around some real niggas at this point in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, but you're doing good for yourself. Yeah, I'm doing real good. You're I'm nice. I'm having my thing. And I didn't learn my lesson from episode one. I came down here and this fucking, well, not episode one, but the last episode I was on. I came yeah. down here again with this long shirt on. I'm down here sweating. Next time I'm here, I'm put. I'm you're in my drawers and a tank top. Yeah, I'm in my drawers and a tank top yeah, next yeah, time I hit this studio. The temperature says, you think you can so, do that to us? So, <laughs> here it is. I, we got a schedule. I come in on Friday. I leave on Sunday before 7. So, I've been here all weekend. Okay? Chilling. Now, this young man right here has always has been a staple in my life so it's for a long time. A lot of people who know me that I do comedy, they know my drink is Jameson on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Always want some Jameson. Here's why I drink Jameson. I'm over Shorty House one day. It's Sunday. I know I got to be out of here. Got to get out of there, man. I got to be out of here man. by 7. Get your ass out of there, man. But home. this is how we get out. And wake up on Sunday morning, we fuck a couple times, smoke a couple blunts, watch a movie or two. All fuck, in this man's house. Fuck again around this about- This little boy is in this man's house. Just out of control. Disrespectful. Out of control. Dis disrespectful. Did you wear the man's slippers? I got, no, none of that. Okay, none of that. I got to be out, I you know. I don't want slippers. We gonna, fuck, <laughs> we gonna fuck around three. I'm gonna leave. Now we just got through fucking. I'm sitting on the bed. I'm rolling the blunt. What time is it? It's probably like, Three forty-five, some shit the like afternoon? that. Afternoon? Yeah. Bruh, you should have been out of there. I know, but I got till seven. This nigga is kicking it. <laughs> I got till seven. Dog, you three forty-five. So I'm thinking I'm in the rollers, blood. Cause you know, you know, you you you, you should have been. Out. Yeah, she that, know better. Look, nigga, you too old for that. I think you I'm, too old to be cheating like that. I'm thinking I'm finna. You cheating bad. I'm finna roll this blunt, smoke. She come out of the shower. I'm gonna tap this thing one more time, real quick, and get out of here. Gosh. So I'm sitting on the bed while she in the shower. I'm butt naked, rolling the blood. Got the box in my lap, doing my thing. Fifteen. You know what I'm saying? It's like a grown nigga. ass man. Like this is my house. Weed in this. <laughs> <laughs> like this is my house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, nigga? I see some. I see some go past the door. I'm like, this bitch ain't got no door. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no dog. Something went past the door. I'm confused, right? Because you know the stairs is like you look outside the door. The stairs right here. So if somebody come you up the stairs, you'll see that. Or you know something went past the door. I'm knowing. That's because the nigga head went past. That's what what went past. Because when you coming up the stairs, it's like okay, you look out the room. The stairs is right here. There's a landing. Then the stairs are on that side. So it's like if somebody coming up the stairs, you see their head coming up and you know like rising. Right. <laughs> so I see this out the door. I see something go past. I'm like, oh, I'm 15, I'm stupid. I keep uh, uh, Yo, that nigga walk in the room and stop. And I was like, I, I'm now, I'm froze. I got the blood in my mouth. I'm looking at him, he looking at me. I don't know what to do at this point. This nigga's like, 15 and naked in another man's home. With a Nike box top in my lap. <laughs> Shout out to Nike, because I had just did it. <laughs> this is so disrespectful. I'm, I'm looking at him, he looking at me, we done made eye contact. That motherfucker said, hold on, I'll be right back. Walked out the door. Now I know he finna shoot me. I know he finna kill me. I'll be right so, back. Now for a few seconds I'm still stuck because I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, fuck it. I put everything down. I jump up, grab my shit. I'm trying to put my drawers on, right? right. Now I didn't got this leg on. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, After all nigga, these years, they won't come on. I can't After get all I, these I can't years, get this one. I've been putting I, no drawers. I can't get this one on for some like reason. <laughs> nigga. So I Sit down, slide the motherfucker up. I'm halfway up. This nigga walking back in the door. I'm like, God damn. It's worse. I'm sitting on the bed. I'm sitting right there. You are head. My drawers half mass, nigga. Like I'm shitting. So I'm sitting down like, 
fuck? <laughs> so he come back in, nigga, the gun is this long. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a handgun. <laughs> Remember in the first Batman with Michael Keaton, when the Joker pulled that fucking pistol? <laughs> he got one of these, right? The same way he got this long ass gun to sit. It's a 357 that ain't been cut, so it's long as fuck. So I'm looking, I'm like, oh, oh, man. <laughs> Shit, my life is finna end right here. Oh, she busting. So he like, where the bitch at? The bathroom door closed. Now the nigga, they, they house is dope. They live in the suburbs. Real far out in this place called Crete. Mo Crete Monet is some shit out in the far in the south suburbs of uh, Chicago. So <coughs> there's a the room got a big ass door right here. That's a closet. Then it's a bath bath bathroom, but it's a bathroom look like a fucking studio. It's like a studio apartment. You can live in this bathroom. It's huge. You know what I'm saying? All this other shit. So and it's a bar in the room. Like a little he got a little bar he done had built over to the you side. No, nah, I ain't touched none of that. I don't, I'm 15. I don't need none of that. I'm fucking for 32 hours <laughs> off the wind blowing. It don't matter. I'm, I'm in here. So I, I'm good on all that. Plus, at that time, I ain't drinking. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I still care about myself. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, he's, he see the door closed to the bathroom. Nigga bang on the door. Boom! Bitch, come out the bathroom. She don't make a sound. How old is he? I don't know. How does he look? We he he. I'm thinking he probably about five years at the most older than her. Okay. Okay. So if I was if I was to put something on him, you know what I'm saying. So I'm sitting there. <laughs> he bang on the door again. Now as he's banging and she's not answering, he's getting more and more upset. Oh, yeah. This like when a you nigga go when a with. grown man go. <laughs> he finna hurt somebody, so get it. Like when a nigga is that old and he revert to being seven again and then they go, ah! like, my son does that, nigga. He's eight. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared, right? <laughs> the nigga, boom, 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 bitch, open the door. I'm like, bitch, open the door. Please, Please. open the damn door. The door open. She got the robe on. She opened the door, come to walk out. He, pow, fuck her up. Back into the bathroom she goes. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't slap her back into this motherfucker. Right. I'm fucked up at this point because I'm like, this nigga love her. Oh, yeah. He and he just knocked the dog shit out of her. What? He don't give a fuck about me. I'm dying. Going to I'm dying in here today. I know this. She come out the bathroom. Bitch, what the fuck is going on? She don't know what to say. She's she not even speaking real English at this point. Nigga say, look, come over here and sit down. She sit at the little bar. I'm still sitting here. Like, I'm so fucking traumatized and stupid. I still have no more of my drugs. Still down by your damn. <laughs> Too scared to come out. Too scared to come out. Don't move. The nigga say, bring your ass over here. I was like, me? He was like, yeah, nigga, who else in there? It's enough. I'm like, nigga, no, please don't get angry. It's, I'm the only one. You know what I'm saying? So I get up. I'm like, now nah, I'm confused because I'm like, do I walk towards this nigga pulling my drawers? Do I pull him up as I get up? So once I get up, you know, because. But I'm, so I'm like, fuck. Uh. So I set it up, and I kind of like hold him in the seat, like, like a bro, <laughs> like a straight up bro when they pissing outside. So I, I hold him in the mirror, and I'm like, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm about to pull, pull these up. He's like, yeah, pull your goddamn pants up, nigga. I want you sitting on my motherfucking bar stool with your naked ass. So I walk over to the bar stool, and I sit down. And the nigga pull out two glasses, you know what I'm saying? And he, um, slide one of them in front of me and pour a drink. I was like, man, I, I don't really drink. He was like, man, shut the fuck up. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, bitch, I knew you was fucking somebody. I knew it. He said, I felt that shit in my bones. That's why the fuck I came here today like this. Just unannounced. He was like, but, hey, little nigga, look at me. 
Huh? <laughs> He's like, nigga, I knew she was fucking somebody. When I walked in here, though, and I saw it was you, and I realized this nigga's a baby. He said, how old are you, nigga? Uh, six, 16? And he said, 16? Swear to God. I, yeah. He was like, nigga, I was going to kill you. I said, was? Where, where do we stand now? Shit <laughs> still on the table? He said, uh, yeah, I was going to kill you, nigga. He was like, but when I walked in here and I seen that you was a baby, now I know how old you are. You 16. He was like, nigga, the fact that you 16 and you been banging my bits, my wife, you a player ass little nigga. He said, I'm going to have a drink with you. And you gonna get the fuck out of here before I blow your brains out. The nigga pulled the glasses, the shot of Jameson. I picked it up. We clinked glasses. I drank it. I stood up, grabbed my pants. I ain't put shit on. Grabbed my pants, my shirt. I took the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving this bitch. Okay, you almost got me killed. I'm, I'm taking this yet. with me. And it's good weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Grab all my shit. I'm heading out the door. He was like, hey man, hurry up. <laughs> I'm about to kill this bitch. I was like, bitch, have a good evening. Y'all take it easy. And I ran my ass out the door. I got damn it, 10, maybe, I was 15 then. I started doing damn. comedy at 23. This, I'm two years in, I'm doing a show. I come out on stage. I'm talking. I look down in the front row. I'm in Atlanta. Mm. I see this nigga in the front row. Same nigga. Same nigga. I know it's him. I see it on his face as he looking at me like, I said, God damn. I said, man, I got a friend in the building, y'all. Sitting here tonight, I want to introduce him to you. I said, y'all give it up for my boy right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, good friend of mine, man. I ain't telling him where I know him from. Like, right. Good friend of mine, I love him. I said, waitress. Do me a favor, bring my man a bottle for me. I said, he likes Jameson. She come out, she bring the bottle, she sit it down on the table. Mm -hmm. he, cracked the, he cracked the bottle and looked up at me. And when he looked up at me, I looked him dead in his eyes and said, hey brother, did, did you, you miss me? me? God <laughs> damn it, damn fool brought that bitch around and dropped that bitch <laughs> off, man. I'm delayed. Damn fool, thank y'all for watching. Did you miss me, man? Make sure you guys subscribe and like uh, our Did You Miss Me channel. Uh, we're on SoundCloud. We are on, uh, uh, where we at, fellas? iTunes. iTunes. YouTube, Google Podcast. YouTube, YouTube. Google Podcast. We all over the thing, people. Let me check out the Patreon. Yeah. Make sure you guys check out the pa Patreon if you're not familiar with Patreon. It's I exclusive material know that is. just for you guys who subscribe, subscribe and pay that monthly and uh, and showing that love to Did You Miss Me? All exclusive. Like today, we got some very exclusive stuff, some behind the scenes stuff that ain't nobody going to see but y'all, exactly. people. And can't forget about the merchandise, y'all. I ain't going to never stop putting that goddamn merchandise down y'all faces, people. It's nice, too. Hats. T-shirts, did you miss me? We got the logo, we got the lips. Whatever y'all want, people, we got them on deck. I love the logo. It's getting cold out there. Get them hoodies. Y'all boys back east, y'all really rock them. Get them goddamn hoodies. Go on over there and get them. <laughs>